What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have the MDT Vindication episode number 14 preview for you guys. You guys know that we did a preview for MDT Live episode 13 and I really enjoyed that. I like to give the background information. You guys know back in the past we used to do the MDT Wrestling Observer, but this time we just kind of keep it, you know, fresh like this. You know, not no figures in it. We're just going to talk and we're going to put some info on the screen for you guys and we're just going to break down what kind of to expect for Vindication 14. We have all three of the matches already announced, so it should be a very good show. I'm very interested to see what takes place on the blue brand when we get there. But this is episode number 14 of Vindication Breakdown. Uh, obviously, that's the middle episode. So it goes Vindication 13, MDT Live 13, and then Vindication 14, which is what we're on now. We'll go MDT Live 14 again. Then we'll go back to Vindication for 15, MDT Live 15, and then it will be time for Hell's Gate. So I'm super duper excited. Hell's Gate, obviously, the next pay-per-view for us. It will feature two Elimination Chamber matchups. Very good good stuff. Very excited to uh, film those matches and get them up to you guys, and uh, it's going it's to be a really great show. Can't wait to get the arena finished. We got a lot of details that I'm still trying to iron out about that arena and everything that we're going to do, but uh, when we get there, it's going to be epic, and I know that, uh, you know, the pay-per-views take a while to get to, but, you know, we're going to get there, and when we do, it's going to be freaking sweet, nasty farticles. So, let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Episode number 13 of Vindication was broken down with uh, sort of some different storylines, but the main storyline was, you know, Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club sort of, uh, you know, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. You know, Kenny Omega wanted answers from the MDT Royal Rumble, and uh, he was he was confronting Adam Cole. He thought Adam Cole was responsible for all of the weird things happening to him over the past few weeks and months leading up to the MDT Royal Rumble. So he confronts him. Then, out of nowhere, out come the Wyatt Colt. You know, they finally get in the ring. They finally do their thing. We saw Bray Wyatt debut at the MDT Royal Rumble. He comes out with his Colt, and they beat the hell out of the Bullet Club, man. Omega and and the Bullet Club get just assaulted at the end there by the Wyatt Colt. Alistair Black gets unveiled as the as the ghost man, or the, the goat man, I should say, on, on the Wyatt Colt. You know, he was under the mask forever. He had the long black sleeves on. He was unveiled, so Alistair Black is a part of the Wyatt Colt now. And so uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how Bullet Club responds to all of that stuff that happened on episode number 13. So 14 should be some answers for, you know, what what's going to happen to the Wyatt Colt following that. You know, you don't just mess around with the Bullet Club without, you know, getting a little messed up. So we'll have to see what happens there. But uh, on episode 13 of MDT Live, Eric Bischoff actually announced a couple of Elimination Chamber qualifier matches for Vindication. You know, MDT higher-ups and investors are, are, are really talking. And they don't want Kenny Omega making the decisions on who is going to be in the Elimination Chamber for the Elite Championship because he know or they know that they're just going to fill it up with Bullet Club members, right? He's just going to put Cody and Skrull and and the Bucks and, and all that inside the chamber and try to you know help him retain the championship. And that's not what they want. They know they don't trust him with that. So Eric Bischoff went ahead and announced two chamber qualifying matchups for Hell's Gate and for uh, this episode of Vindication. And the first one is AJ Styles taking on Cesaro. And of course, anybody that's in a Hell's Gate qualifying matchup for the Elimination Chamber, those people are people who are deserving of those qualifying matchups given how they performed in the MDT Royal Rumble. AJ Styles versus Cesaro. AJ Styles was entrant number 23, I think, or 24 in the MDT Royal Rumble. And then uh, and he was one of the final four. And then Cesaro was entrant number 27, I think, or 28. I can't remember which one, but uh, both of them look pretty good in that, and they will go head-to-head. -head. The winner will obviously go into Hell's Gate, and the second chamber matchup qualifier that we have is Samoa Joe taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura being the number 30 entry, he had a big return. He had a couple eliminations in the Rumble, and everybody was awaiting him, and so I guess that the higher-ups and Eric Bischoff are going to grant this man an opportunity here versus Samoa Joe to qualify for that, that elimination chamber at Hell's Gate. Samoa Joe had a really good showing. He was flying all over the ring, taking out guys, uh, just beating the hell out of multiple men, and so he's going to get an opportunity versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That one should be a hellacious matchup. So we have AJ Styles versus Cesaro, and we have Samoa Joe versus Nakamura as two of the matches announced for Vindication Episode 14, and at the end of Episode 14 of Vindication, we will have three spots 
for the Elimination Chamber uh, filled up. So there's going to be six spots, and three of them will be taken. If you count the champion, Kenny Omega, that will leave Kenny Omega, and then either Cesaro or Styles, and then either Joe or Nakamura. So half of the matchup will be filled going into the Go Home Show for Hell's Gate on the Vindication side of things. Very many, No matter how that thing goes, you know, Styles, Cesaro, Joe Nakamura, and Kenny Omega, no matter who ends up filling up those spots, that's going to be a damn good match. I mean, you can just see the talent right there in that chamber matchup and, and who is going to be trying to qualify for that. So three match or three spots will be filled for that. That is our two, you know, so that will be pretty good there. Our last matchup on this episode of Vindication, guys, is going to be the Tag Team Tournament number 1 Contender Finals. Obviously, the Wyatt Colt and the Fashion Police are the two final teams in the finals here. The Wyatt Colt defeated Rusev Day to get to this point, and Fashion Police defeated American Alpha to get to this point. And so these two teams are going to come to, to head here in the main event of Vindication, episode number 14. This will be the main event, obviously. Pretty big matchup here. Um, the two qualifiers for the chamber are obviously big. It's not like you can kind of choose, you know, which one you want to have as the main event. This needs to be the main event, the Tag Team Tournament Finals. So the Wyatt Colt will take on the Fashion Police, and this is kind of cool because it comes full circle with how the Fashion Police used to be investigating the Wyatt Colt, you know, with the Fashion Files. They were trying to figure out who the Goat Man was, what the hell that Bray Wyatt and the, and the Colt were doing with the urn, which we still don't know really what they're doing with that. So uh, we're trying to figure that out as well. And so it sort of comes out, you know, full circle here as the Wyatt Colt will take on the Fashion Police. I'm sure they're going to have some, you know, some things to say about that. Fashion Police, are they going to be too afraid of the Wyatt Colt? Are they going to just cave under the pressure? Or will they actually step up? I thought they looked great versus versus Amer American Alpha. They looked really, really strong in that matchup. They put all their, they put everything on the line and they ended up winning. And here they are taking on the Wyatt Colt. But Wyatt Colt being undefeated in their debuts, but the Fashion Police are also undefeated in their debuts, both of them making their debuts here in the tournament, and they look great in the first round, so we'll see if they can continue that momentum into the finals here versus the Wyatt Colt, but the winner of this matchup will obviously take on the Young Bucks, who are the MDT Tag Team Champions, and uh, they will take place at Hell's Gate, and we don't know who the Usos are going to face just yet over on MDT Live side of things, but the winner of this tournament will take on the Young Bucks at MDT Hell's Gate, and that should be a really fun matchup, regardless of who it is, the Wyatt Colt or the Fashion Police. And of course, the big story going into MDT Vindication Episode 14 is going to be Bullet Club and the Wyatt Colt. You know, what are they going to do? Are they going to try and stop them? They're going to try to find them. What are they going to do? And how are they going to respond to having, you know, their asses handed to them on MDT Vindication Episode number 13? So I'm sure that Kenny Omega will be pissed off. You know, he got destroyed by Aleister Black. Adam Cole got destroyed by Aleister Black. He he got absolutely destroyed by everybody in that on that episode, you know, he was beat the hell up by the club and the Wyatt Colts. So I'm sure that uh, Adam Cole, who knows what the hell's next for this man. Um, but uh, Bullet Club and the Wyatt Colt are sure, you know, the tensions are definitely rising here. And we will see what continues of this storyline on MDT Vindication 14. And one thing that I need to mention right quick, guys, is if you stayed around for the end credits, sort of, uh, sort of an Easter egg here at the end of MDT Vindication episode number 13, uh, we uh, we did a little something, guys. If you, if you stayed at the very end, in the very end of the episode, we pan to the backstage area into the general manager's office where it was revealed that Balor's jacket was missing from the wall. Balor Club, the Balor Club jacket that, you know, Kenny Omega has had up on his wall ever since uh, defeating Finn Balor at Blackout and, you know, taking his jacket, burying Finn Balor alive and, you know, killing him there. Uh, his, his jacket was missing from the wall. That trophy that Kenny Omega held so dear is missing from the wall. So uh, we're, we're going to find out, you know, what Kenny Omega thinks of this, what is going to happen with the jacket missing. So that is another very interesting point. And a lot of people said that uh, they got chills in this last episode of Vindication. They said it was the best episode that uh, I had ever done or that we have ever done over here at MDT. And then they said the same thing about episode number 13 of MDT Live. So I think we're getting better every episode. And I'm very excited for it, uh, for, for episodes 14. And we're going to continue to get better every single episode and kind of uh, continuing on that, that string of momentum. And hopefully that continues. But um, I just wanted to... Uh, put that in there. If you guys missed that, definitely go check out the the ending of MDT Vindication episode 13. But um, I just wanted to get on here also, guys, at the end of this uh, little preview for the episode and just sort of talk about why it's still taking a little bit longer for the episodes of the MDT Pick Fed. And the reason is, is because I'm working on some stuff in life right now that I cannot get into at this moment, but you guys will know uh, sooner or later, and I don't want to get to, into it right now. But I will release a video when it is time, you know, on, on all of those different 
different things, and that's sort of why it's been taking longer. And I really hate it because you know it's uh, it, it was going to work out where I could get them out really faster, and then you know uh, things happen and you can't do it. But you know what? It's all going to be good. We're still going to be blessed over here. We're still going to be killing it, and we're going to get these episodes out. You know, it's just uh, the way it is sometimes, and we're going to do our best to get them out. And so uh, hopefully I think that things are going to start calming down very really soon. And when that happens, I'll be able to pump them out faster and faster. And again, I think the, I think the highlights actually, switching to the highlights at the time we did was really important. I think that that actually helped us a ton. And so hopefully uh, when things calm down and things get back to, you know, a normal schedule, we'll be able to get that up even faster again. So I think it was a blessing to get into the highlights. And I think that that really worked out in our favor. That is something that I wanted to tell you guys. I know that it's frustrating. Frustrating. It's frustrating for me as well, but again, we're going to get it, and I really appreciate everybody who's patient. I really appreciate you guys being um, being upfront with me and cool with me and waiting on me to get these things up because I know you guys enjoy it. I enjoy it. Again, if I could post a pick fed episode every single day, I totally would. If I didn't have to do um, anything else and I didn't have other obligations and I didn't have other responsibilities and all that good jazz, I would totally post a pick fed episode every single day. If it was possible, it would be that way, and we would only do other videos every once in a while. So, if that was possible, that's what we would do, but uh, it's just not realistic at this time, and maybe one day I can hire a full staff, and we could just get in here and film PickFed episodes all day, but anyways, uh, that is something I wanted to tell you guys again. I'm really, really appreciative of you guys being patient with me, and I love you guys for that, but uh, the last thing I wanted to cover in the video, guys, is some customs for Hell's Gate. I have one custom that I'm working on that I'm very excited for, but I can't reveal it because they don't kind of spoil things, and I don't want to spoil things, so there's actually going to be a lot of stuff going on at Hell's Gate, guys. Like, when I say a lot of stuff, you got to think it's the pay-per-view before our WrestleMania. It's the pay-per-view before MD Nation or My Damn Nation. So it's going to be um, really, really epic as far as like customs and, and some things happening and some things breaking open and, and storylines and all that good stuff. So it's going to be a really sweet show. It's gonna It's got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts going in, um, a lot of work going in behind the scenes. So that's going to be really fun, and I cannot wait for you guys to see those. I got some people working on some things, and it's gonna it's gonna be epic, man. When when things all all come out and everything's seen, but uh, so when it's finally time, guys, it's gonna be epic. You guys know how it is. We're gonna get this show out, and when it happens, you guys know that we always deliver. We get better every single show, and it's gonna continue to be that way. That's why when My Damn Nation happens, it's going to be the most over the top show that's ever taken place. So uh, again, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of Vindication episode. 14. What do you think goes down in episode 14 of Vindication? I would love to know down in the comment section below. Who are you going for in these qu chamber qualifiers? You know, what are you thinking with the finals of the Wyatt Cole versus the Fashion Police? Who will go on to take the Young Bucks? What are you expecting out of Vindication episode 14? Guys, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, an update on this show is that it should be, uh, I'm going to try and have it up in the next few, you know, few days. I'm going to do my absolute best, so just be patient with me. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE mm -hmm. We figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.